A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile, the car, the symbol of freedom and vitality. Where every man can own his own home and have room to breathe and not be overlooked by his neighbors. A city where a man's home is his castle. A quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. The city of opportunists. The city of dreams. Where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. The city of pioneers. century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries, that will stretch as far as the eye can see. You deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the pad, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. KGBL calling car, 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. Adam, see the detective, an ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, go to. Roger, 14 Adam en route. Alright. What's up, everyone? It's Smooth Buns. And welcome to LA Noir. And if you have been keeping up with my channel, you saw that I took the first three episode, uh, episodes off and that is because they just did not have the subtitles and because I just downloaded a DLC and by the third episode there was somewhat of a case missing so I kind of just want to do everything Here complete. we go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. As I was saying, I want to do everything as a whole, so I don't want to have any cases missing here or there. But there was one case that I actually could not get on Xbox Live, which was in the DLC supposedly, uh, or in the complete edition of L.A. Noir. So I kind of had to pull some strings here and there just to get that case. So you guys will definitely be seeing it uh, probably about like the third episode, and I'm gonna try to upload every episode as quickly as I can up to the fifth one for right now because I owe you guys that those you know few episodes because I have been lagging on it but anyways guys I hope you guys enjoy uh, the game and this is like a movie so I'm trying not to talk as much so uh, if I make any new mistakes just hang in there with me uh, I'm pretty sure I can you know try to fix those little mistakes 
as I'm playing along. But if I do, you know, just point them out or, you know, any, you know, visual or audio, just let me know if you guys can't hear anything. Just let me know and I'll try to fix it next time. But for right now, I'm going to try to do this as quickly as I can just to make it up to you guys for the other episodes that I didn't do. So anyways, guys, uh, let's go. Floyd Rose, homicide. You might back up? Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We I'm got places here. to be. Happy hunting. This is a fist hump. Just going through the motions. You're probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better than one. They definitely are. All right, so I'm going to try to collect all of the newspapers, try to get Look at this junk. All of the World War II flashbacks that they have in this game. So I'll definitely try to cover everything as... It's not my job to pick through other people's trash. As much as I can. So if I miss anything, don't be afraid to let me know in the comments. So if, you know, I'm going to try to do this by case. So in case I what mess you got, up, Phelps? Anything? which I know I probably will in some time in the future, I can go back and just do that case and recollect that data or, you know, newspaper, flashback, whatever. Uh, just for I you guys. You, so this is basically... I landed with this crap. Jesus. Cole, come take a look at this. All right, bro, relax. Let me talk. As I was saying, um, I'm going to try to do everything uh, as quickly as I can. Never gonna find Please, it first five episodes, and then you guys... Uh, I'll definitely take more time in doing this, but... Ah! Uh, stop moving, Cole. I'll definitely try to cover everything... I, uh, everything completely in the game so except of some films that i'm supposed to find there's like 50 of them but i really don't want to find those i really don't even know where they're at and the cars the cars there i i probably will pick some up on the way maybe but i can't really get all of them it's kind of you know collector collector's thing i don't really do that i'm not an achievement hunter like uh, some people are but i will definitely try to get as much as i can or you know just the main things that are important to the story so uh, let's look at the first newspaper. So here we go. Dr. Fontaine, could I have a word? Of course, young man. I really enjoyed your lecture, doctor. Psychiatry seems to have a tremendous amount to offer. Why, thank you. I'm always happy to receive acknowledgement for my work. The mind is the last great mystery and medicine. Are you thinking of specializing, Mr... Sheldon. Or Courtney Sheldon. I'm only in second year, Doctor. They fast-tracked me a year because of my experience during the war. Ah. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Battle fatigue and collapse under duress. Can it be helped? I would say yes. Given the right set of circumstances. Trauma forces the mind to close down, treat in on itself. We try to find ways to unlock the mind again through a combination of therapy and drug treatment. Hypnosis and therapy are powerful tools in the right hands, Shiv. I've been to visit some of the guys at the VA hospital. A good friend of mine, he's so far away. It's like he's wandering You went through a lot me. together. Yes, Doc. Give me his details and I'll make a prognosis. I have a number of clinics in Los Angeles, Courtney Shelton, and your penance, for your friend's help, is to come and work at one of them in your spare time, with what little spare time a medical student has. Is that a deal? Is it ever? I, I can't thank you enough. I'm not promising a cure, Courtney. I 
want you to remember that. Every physician has patients that he cannot hope to cure, for whom he can only smooth the path to death. All right, so that was the first newspaper, and I think there's about 12 or 13 of them. And there's some that I have to be careful because I really can't go back and find them. So, yeah, those things are going to be kind of tough to get all of them. So I'm going to try to be as careful as I can and, you know, show you guys so you guys won't miss anything. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? I'm that good, bro. Reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. All right, well, you shut up and let me do my police work, Sonny. The gun's up on the roof, right? So we need to find a way up. Already have. Ooh. And it's a revolver. What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? Smith and Wesson. Serial S71893. Hmm. So if they shot the guy, let me see how many shots were fired. Two rounds fired. And instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. We should follow up on this now, before the perp tries to leave town. I mean, why would he throw it down the drain? It's a pretty fancy gun. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. We could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. All right, well, that's where we're going to head next. No harm in doing some digging. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. All right, so I'm going to let this guy drive for me so you guys don't have to sit there and watch me uh, drive. Because I know that's what I did, but... You know, it's kind of annoying when I have to drive everywhere and I really don't have anything to talk about. But these are like tutorial um, cases, so I don't really need to... You're behind the wheel. You know, do all that stuff. And I really don't want to edit anything out because that's... I'm kind of lazy. <laughs> but yeah. I know, I'm a, I'm a lazy guy. Lazy turd. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith & Wesson. Model 27, registered Magnum. Chambered for 357. Nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. This is about something bad, right? 
No, of course not. I mean, if the police come and ask you for a gun and the information about it, then it's probably bad, bro. All right, let's open up the ledger. Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? Why, yes, I do. We're in luck. Errol Schroeder, 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Sure you are. Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. And I'm gonna let him drive. You can drive. Because, like I said, I really don't need to... Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One-of-a-kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name? If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. And two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are full of it. Like I said, I really don't have to drive everywhere. Because these are just tutorial cases. So I don't have to take five minutes driving there. And then edit it out. That's kind of annoying. But here we are. At Mr. Schroeder's apartment. Alright, hurry Ralph. Cross the street. Schroeder, apartment two. All right, let's go bust his ass or ask him questions, whatever police officers do nowadays. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Oh, damn. You ready, tough guy? He just knocked on that my was partner. A very bad move. Like it was nobody's business. It was like a Muhammad Ali punch. Headshot. Damn, that must have hurt. Ralph, you all right? I'm fine. I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. I'm going to take a look around. Wait, I don't think you can do that. I think that's against the law, Mr. Cole Phelps. Well, he's already snooping around, so might as well. List of names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. Officer Phelps, badge 1247. Request Floyd Rose is a corrupt cop. My bad, I can't talk. Fudge. Sons of bitches, get in this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant, but. Excuse me? Fuck you! 
You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for... I know why you're here, asswipe. I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. Didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. <laughs> God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. Okay, Mr. Asshole. Asswipe. Well, you picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. It could only ever end one way. All units, a 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan, 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identified code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from here. 14 Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised, suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger, KGPL. 14 Adam on route. All right, our first, uh shooting or robbery i don't know what it's called or yeah i don't know what numbers cops use it to describe the the situation but it's gonna seem pretty um crazy make it quick you guys the cops are here we gotta move it this guy's face coming up oh my god see look at it, it looks all weird whoa Keep your goddamn head down. Use the cover, Phelps. All right, well, I got two guys. We don't know how many are in there. Take it slow. Backup will be here soon. LAPD, put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you Not a, a chance. Not a fucking chance, copper. You come any closer, we'll cut you in half. Damn. Kind of messed up. Got one. Wow, you know what's funny? These guns have more range than the ones in Call of Duty. Bam! That's it? We got them all? I think we got them, Cole. Should be all clear. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess... It's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. Glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? Damn, that was pretty cold, but it's true. Definitely true. Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. 
With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. And in my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bum. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped her Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Wendell Bowers, stop! LAPD! You can go <laughs> screw yourselves. You know what's funny? When he said, don't, if you, you want to be good friends it. with the man, don't talk either religion or politics. He's well, you can add Spanish that. soccer to that. Spanish fans get really pissed off when you, you know, talk about op opposing teams or, you know, rival teams. Hold it right there. Stop now or Anyways, let's shoot. catch this uh, mofo and uh, I won't tell you again, Wendell. Jesus, Doug, finish watch quickly. Your fire. You don't want to do this, Wendell. Get down from there right now. Give it up, Wendell. Stay the hell away from me. Oh, hell no, you bro. Kidding. You fucking asked for it. All right, you fat slob. I am about to get you and uh, whoop your ass. Going back inside. I've done my time. You assholes already screwed me once. It's over, Bowers. Crap, I almost messed up there. What if he got Give away? Up, Would Bowers. I fail the There's mission? Left to go. <laughs> Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. Alright, bro, I'm about to beat the crap out of you. Headshot! you doing Wendell your parole officers feeling lonely he's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you you can make it up to him in 10 years time watch your head this hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night nice work Cole you run track in high school Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de Corps, Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Eight, Donahoe, six, Kowalski, six, Hudson, five, Kelso, two, leadership, Donahoe, eight, Franklin, seven, Merrill, six, Kowalski, six, Weiss, five, Hudson, five, Kelso, one. Candidate Kelso. I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now. 